Hi right, guys, thanks for tuning back into the Diagnostic World YouTube channel. In this video, I'm hopefully going to give you a little bit of information which will help you get your iCarsoft scan tool back up and running. Uh, a little bit of background information first of all, iCarsoft are a, a, a tool manufacturer that will create automotive diagnostic packages and tools for your vehicles to do resets, um, look, at, look at data within the vehicle. They make millions of these tools every year. They go all around the world for a wide variation of different users, end users, garages, workshops, things like that. And from time to time, some of the, uh, these tools can go a little bit um, off piece, let's say, and not work as they should. Um, now, I've got three examples here of a, an ICOS of fault that if you're getting one of these faults on your diagnostic tool, um, then this is, I'm not gonna give you the steps in this video on how to fix all of that, okay? So it relates to when you first plug the tool into the vehicle or when you plug the tool into a PC or a laptop and you're not able to get onto the main screens whereby you would start diagnosing a vehicle. So this is the first example right here, okay? Hopefully you can, uh, but I'm not sure if you can focus on that because the camera's trying to focus on my face. But that's an example of one of the faults. And it says um, H serial E D B S F N dot bin file operation exception error code zero zero. And you can't get off this screen. You can't get onto the, the screens whereby you would start um, diagnosing your vehicle. And here's another one. So that's it on a different style tool, but the, uh, the fault is kind of similar. This one says, H serial UAP menu dot bin file operation exception error code zero three. And then we've got another one which says loading fail EDB SFN dot bin. All right, so those are three examples of the, the kind of tools that you might get. And these are what's gonna stop you from using the tool properly. So the good news is it's not a broken tool. You haven't got a faulty tool. Um, the, the, the problem lies with the software which is on the SD card inside the tool itself, okay? Now in the description below this video, there is, um, it's about a five or six step, six step, step, is that right? Five or six step guide, step by step guide on how to uh, fix this. But in a nutshell, if I was to give you um, just a real quick bit of information, you need to remove the card from the the diagnostic tool. You need to plug it into a PC or a laptop. You need to format the SD card, put it back into the tool, and then load the software on again. So um, all of those steps, step by step, are in the description below this video. And that's, a, that's what is gonna take your tool from looking something like that, or like that, which is no good, into I haven't got anything on, a fully working tool with a proper screen again, okay? Uh, something like that. Um, and then the colors come on and then you've got the, the menu system where you can go into services, uh, diagnose, you can select your vehicle and things like that, okay? But don't worry about it because it's not a problem with the tool itself, it's purely the software. If you go through all of the steps and you still can't get the tool working again, then don't worry about that either. It's still not a problem with the tool. What it probably means is that something has gone seriously wrong with the SD card that the data was on. So you may need, at worst case scenario, you may need to go out and buy a brand new SD card. Um, so that might be worth looking at if you cannot fix the tool by following the, uh, the guide in the description below this video. So I'll pop it in there. Um, and hopefully this video helps and guys if you do need any diagnostic tools for your vehicle any packages then um, I'll put the link to our website in the description below this video as well we have all of these talk kits in stock we dispatch them same day we don't just do iCarsoft tools but we you know we have Xtool we have Autel we have Foxtel all of the main brands and manufacturers all of the best diagnostic tools we have them on our uh, online shop there okay so I've taken up enough of your time hopefully the guide will work um, please give it a thumbs up if the, uh, the guy does work and gets your tool back up and running, which is the aim of this game. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.